All righty. Hey, we're playing Baldur's Gate Hi, 3. Hi, we're here. We're playing Baldur's Gate. It's me, Toaster. He's Keith. <laughs> I, no, that's Keith. I'm no. Toaster. Uh, we're probably playing on Tactician. We're getting this whole mess started. Uh, we're, it's my third time playing a co-op Larian RPG. We're, we're a little late to the party with Baldur's Gate 3, but everything everyone's been busy. But... I, I think we're just on time because they just added the mo uh, setting that makes it so you can automatically eavesdrop on other people's conversations whenever they are triggered somewhere, which playing this game without that in the game was stressing me out. The idea of doing that. So I'm happy that they've patched <laughs> it into the game that now you can automatically join conversations to watch them because from a recording perspective, I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. What do you mean? You could just walk away and start a conversation and I can't see it. We're going to give this a go. Lithids. Interesting. Who doesn't like a ridged, writhing texture? Is this a painting or is it 3D modeling? I cannot tell yet. Who? Still can't tell? Okay, now it's, now it's 3D. Model. Now it's 3D. <laughs> Like, even when the light shows up, I'm like, this could be an isometric trick. I don't trust it. <laughs> Three fingies. That's how you know they're alien. Oh, teenage it's a mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> it is a yerk. They're, they're using the yerk. They're, Not the they're gonna anamorph. <laughs> it's the yerk pool. No. It's extremely yerk. <laughs> it's is gonna it gonna go, go in her ear. Yeah. Is it, is it gonna go in her ear? Her I don't know. Ah. Oh, I'm a, oh, that's upsetting. Okay, at least it doesn't go through her eye, which is definitely what felt implied. Enjoy yeah, your legally brain distinct slug. from, but visually similar to Yerk. <laughs> Who did it best? Who did it first, guys? I don't like this. I think fewer people Warp. would level up and pray if it was like that. <laughs> Who are you? Character creation. All right, I have poked at the character creator before. So I'm going to try to recreate that character again. Okay. Uh, let's I have see. To, custom. I, ha I have to do a custom origin because you literally can't be a half-orc as any other character. They all have fixed... Do uh, all the other characters have fixed species except the Dark Urge, I guess, but I don't... I think the Dark Urge is evil? Yeah, the Dark Urge, as far as I understand, is evil. Do I want yeah, to be... Yeah, I don't want to be evil. Do I want to be Hot Lizard... Or my favorite D and D race, the GIF. There's a there's a there's a wide range here. Yeah, because I could be Hot Lizard, and that could be really fun. They're not very beefy though. That's the problem. Yeah. Then again, oh. Gith Gith are just canonically twinks. So. I think a lot of people are expecting me to play as a Dragonborn, but I actually don't really like them very much. I don't like reptile characters that much in general, but I especially don't like these dragonborn very much hmm now that now i know there's a marking coming out of the eye that caught my attention originally and now i'm thinking like oh that's probably riffing somewhat on the fact that uh you had a thing go through your eye to begin with there are some wild i i always appreciate when a game has a very long list of hair options yeah it's very nice it salvages things a bit when you're trying to deal with everything else about the character and 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 I also like that you have a, a series of faces to pick from instead of them being like I don't know just figure it out with the sliders you know you know how to make a f <laughs> you know what faces look like right and then like every step of the way as you're customizing this face it gets more uncanny you know I don't I don't think I have seen a face before actually I don't think I remember what people look like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing and I'm terrified there's the one I always forget about Shillelagh. <laughs> Fucking buff your spell to be 
buff, buff your weapon to be a super weapon, basically. Ah, oh, Thorn Whip is available immediately. Well, obviously that. That's the most dangerous uh, cantrip in all of D&D. Because <laughs> it moves the enemy. <laughs> so in the I've, I've killed boss fights with, with Thorn Whip before. <laughs> Hmm. Being, having only to pick two cantrips is rough. There's two projectiles. There's Thorn Whip. There's Guidance, which gives somebody a bonus to an ability check they're going to do. That's always neat. Yeah, Guidance is, is pretty powerful. Yeah, it's just that without... If I... If I, if I pick Guidance then I don't, and, I, and Thorn Whip, then I don't have a, an attack. Besides melee. Or whatever weapon I find, I guess. But it's just like, ah, Poison Spray. The 1d12 is also such a worrying check. Like, it's such a wide spread of damage. Yeah. Let's see, what class? Uh, I think this is probably good. I, we don't want to have two spellcasters. I mean, two spellcasters might be good, but like playing two squishy spellcasters could be pretty rough. And I think that there are spellcasters that we You can be a tough spellcaster, recruit. like a cleric. I could be a cleric. I'm just trying to think, trying to think what we have. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to think about my character, like what kind of choices I might want to role play. Like if mm -hmm. I want to just like hard commit to like this like pro nature anarchist. Mm -hmm. Someone against like power structures and pollution and deforestation and things that might motivate who he sides with in conflicts. Yeah. Makes a lot of these mm. skills very not applicable. Cause like, would you like to be uh, a guild artisan, an entertainer, yeah. <laughs> an urchin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, an urchin. <laughs> okay, well, I have to pick folk hero. <laughs> not only is it the, you're, not does it just say you're the champion of the common people, but it gives you survival and animal handling, oh, which that's only interesting. only further complements the exact <laughs> thing I have set up here. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I will... I'm currently in a half-orc druid folk hero. How do I, um... Hmm... Let's see... Oh, fuck! I think you proceeded. Oh. Whoa. Uh... It booted me to a menu? Did it boot you to a menu? Oops. I've been kicked from the game. Yeah, Do I have I to remake up. my character entirely? You might have to. Uh, search friends, player join. I just I just joined the game. I'm, I'm wow, not even now. a warning. <laughs> wow, that was wild. I just I'm sorry. Right. I, I just I just went to click on you and I was like, can I look at his perspective or something? Since this game has split screen sometimes, it just fucking booted you with no warning. It didn't yeah, even like booted me you, from the game. It's like, would you like to completely. kick this player? <laughs> like, no, nothing, it's okay. No warning, I, got, no. Uh, I got it. I got it. I can remake my character real quickly. Don't that worry. Sucks. I need a guardian. What does this mean? Oh my god! I can't pick a dragonborn. Why can't oh, I? No. Wait, what? Why? Yeah, why? Why can our guardian be everything except a dragonborn? It's very confusing. I don't even. I don't know what to do about this. This is just. This is more character. Uh, <laughs> this is more character creation than I was expecting. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. ready for this. Also, why does why do tieflings have four body types? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. What's your guardian? I haven't decided. I'm just I'm just pushing randomize appearance until I get something interesting. Oh, randomize does not pick make... a specific race? No. Wait, race and sub race? Oh, because there's three types of tieflings. Yeah. All right. I have no idea what a guardian is, but we'll nope. see. <laughs> you're ready. You're ready to venture <laughs> forth. I am ready to venture forth. Let's go. 40 minutes of character creation. Let's go.
Not oh. the bell guy. <laughs> All right, that was a pretty quick time to to Wilhelm. <laughs> Maybe the bell guy shouldn't have to wear full armor. Just a thought. Oh hell yeah. I'm gonna finally learn what gets Yankee or like on a way that I can appreciate. Probably. That won't help you with your issues with Planescape's gith, because they're a different type of gith. No. The gith Zarai and the gith Yankee are different races. Oh fuck, you're right. They're called different things. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what this is the details I struggle with. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Did not go deep enough. This, like, Nautilus spaceship, like, illithid pod thing is cool as hell. So this is an absolutely wild intro. With how cool D&D &D and a lot of fantasy settings are, it's really... Oh, it says a lot how often these stories will start with a guy at a village hitting rats. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we're on fire. <laughs> oh my god, it's the Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I don't know how anyone looks at the three floating things and doesn't read it as kind of a joke. <laughs> like, hang on a minute, is that gonna be the title? <laughs> it's like a like turn and then the Baldur's Gate. <laughs> and then the logo in. drops. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that it looked like three was just so funny to me. Ugh. With each passing year, the pivot from. Oop. I must find my kin. I just tried to WASD walk. I think if you zoom all the way in, you might be able to there might be a way to do it like that i know this game does have controls yeah is that you oh it's you it came from the gay parasite that has violated your mind i thought she said the gay parasite <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. skill checks some dialogue options require a skill check a dice roll you must meet or exceed to target number your character's skills add a bonus to this roll I have minus one on intelligence, so I'm bad at investigating. Well, we're, we're both bad at intelligence. Oh! I got a two. Well. That's I a got a one. I got a dirty one. Just great. More than meets the eye. That's great. That's not even the right franchise. <laughs> cool frog, bro. <laughs> Uh, Mind Flayer Pod. Someone else got out. Is there? Can I rotate the camera? Yes, I can. Okay. Middle. You want to give investigating a try? I don't know if it will let you. 
Let's find out. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing huh. behind your eye. It doesn't have me listening to your conversation. Did you set that setting? I did, yes. Hmm. Is there a, there should be a listen button by the map or something, I think? It's over your, your character's icon. Uh, I think it's also in some part of the interface all the time, just because that other mod was going to check that one spot of the screen or something. Yeah. Uh, investigate the pool. Some dialogue require a skill check, a dice roll, the character is added to the book. Yep, the idea of a skill check. There all you right. go. I also have minus one. <laughs> Casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Would we want to crumble it? Reach towards the pool. Ooh, you're gonna get yerked. Hey! It, I caused it to crumble. <laughs> and you did damage to me. All right, hold on. Give me just a second I to did make damage sure. to me. How dare you? Let's see. Yeah, eavesdrop is turned on. I don't know why. See, automatically listen on another player's dialogue scenes when possible. There you go. Now I can speak with animals. That'll help us a lot here. Ooh, a you dead mind flare. You never know what'll happen. Might still be Bloodstone. Take all. Cool. Good. All right, what else is around here? Oh, mind flare pod. Q and E rotate. There we go. Yeah. Wonder who was inside. Huh. Well, doesn't look like that there's much else to investigate AF. here. Restoration. Oh, I feel better. Just examine this twink. You're Sphincter. So, you're so long. Yeah, that's what that's what Gith look like. This is just a dead goblin. Yeah. That is money. Images Illithid record. Their habits and histories flash into your mind. Picked up the goblin. Brain jar. Oop. Rune slate. Autoloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews. As much living being as ship. Viscous chair. <laughs> Don't like that terminology. Oh! Humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more. Flash behind your eyes. I have elevated. You certainly have. Neural apparatus. Ooh. Are you in my my conversation? My scene? Or no, this is your scene. Yeah. Oh, he's ungood. Yes. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. I... <laughs> you sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. I should probably kill it then. You should probably destroy the brain. Yes. <laughs> that seems like the correct move. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just get your hands up in there. Just squeeze it. Alright, well. Not gonna have to deal with that anymore later. Oh wait, is it loot? Okay, and there's like nothing else up here. There's all these brain jars. What happens if we, uh. 
destroy them. Oh, uh, you take four out of ten health damage that you have. Apparently. Oh! Oh, it's like acid. Oh! You are doing unwell. <laughs> I'll be fine. We'll find a restoration pod. Let me see if I can run back to the other room to restore. If it'll heal you back there? Yeah. The camera interacts Seems like it might. interestingly. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a tutorial it spot. Yeah, so we should be fine. Bonus action, key points, and cantrips. Look, the outside world, if I can find a crow, I can talk to it, and that'll solve our problems. Oh boy. Okay. Did you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. We're turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Alright, combat tutorial. Hopefully we have more luck than Andrew and I did in Wasteland 3. We're gonna fight. It happens in the rounds. Uh, you have time to plan. Your okay. Have you seen our Wasteland Three? I have seen parts of it, not the we, whole thing. We died several times against the tutorial fight. Oh. We, were, we were playing on hard, but jeez, it starts hard apparently. Topple? What is that? Wait. We got some interesting things in our bars. Dip. Yep. Oh, dip your weapon into a surface. Oh, that's an interesting verb to have available at all times. We can always shove people? Okay. Improvise melee weapons, helping. So you can help somebody being out, get out of being downed, burning, ensnared, entangled, and webbed, prone, and sleeping. Okay. Okay, I can't reach my destination. So, to so twopple, twopple. <laughs> topple is for twopple. knocking somebody prone. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I'm getting this all figured out. Uh, I can help you, potentially. Oh, wait, but... Oh, it's your turn, though, huh? Oh, it is my turn. Or it has uh... a turn... Wait, are we at the same time? Or... I was gonna say, like, I have enhanced leap. I could, ha I could make you jump really far. Hold on. But I'm trying to figure out how our turn order works. Like, are, is this a part where we all get to take turns in any order? During our co our collective turn or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna run, like... Over here, I think, I guess? I did a bonus action dash, thinking that it would, uh... Let me attack, but I forget that that's not how the resource economy in this game works. So I can go up to 12 meters this way. Yeah, I'll fly over there, why not? Oh, but that opportunity attacked me. Gotcha. Yeah, because if you run past an enemy, it creates an attack of opportunity yep. moment. Yep, 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 yep. If you enter into a threatened square. Yep. Are we able to undo or start over? 
Maybe. I do not think we... I wanted to try and figure out if I could undo, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, so... How big is Thunder Wave? Uh... Five meters? So fairly far. I can test this out. Don't hit me with it. Wait. Have I been using Thunder Wave cancel. wrong all this time? I was under the impression that Thunder Wave was an AoE that comes out of your character. Like, no, in all it directions. shoots in a direction, I think, right? I wonder yeah, if it I've shoots been, in a single direction. I wonder if I misused the spell for an entire D&D campaign. Well, you probably did. No one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah, I think it was, it's a cone. I thought it was like an explosion. Okay. How do I cancel? Escape, okay. Shit. Well, I would have done this entire turn differently if I understood my character better. <laughs> Which I think is mutual at the moment. I just I just dashed thinking that I had an, uh, an extra turn to use. I guess I could try to run a little bit. Oh yeah, I can run. There we go. Now I can end my turn. I can't turn around though, which is weird. This is triggering. I will ascend. So you can't end your turn? No, I did. I will not know we have like a bar of stuff that we can do to end our turn. So I still had movement remaining, so I, I didn't uh I didn't fully end it. Yeah, once you hit space bar when you're done, basically. Okay, we're getting yep. it down. Eh. Oh, nice miss. Ow. Fiery bolt on Lazale. All right. Uh, let's that was rude. see. Not the ready. I could dash. I don't want to. Hmm. Okay, I can attack this thing. <laughs> Wait. And then I can flurry of blows. What? Oh. <laughs> can I use another flurry of blows? I cannot. I swear it, I swear it flew off the cliff. <laughs> did I kill that imp? I did. Nice. Oh, I, I clicked right past the enemy. Fuck. Attack of Iber 2 or something. No, no. Uh, flanking bonus. <laughs> What is her spell? Second wind, two to eleven healing, bonus action. Are you controlling her? Yeah. Okay. Now, if it's Let's like divinity, see. I should be able to assign people to our individual parties as we get more of them. I cannot get up there, so uh, let's just you can bonus probably take care of it. Let's just dash, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I'll hide. Oh. oh. Where are you going? If not over, then through. It's a healing spot? Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. Alright, so this part's pretty easy. Simple. These rogue. imps have random stuff on them. Why yes, I will take this this money. Why not? What did they swallow it? I guess so. This is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> this is very fun. Having the camera pan oh. through the bizarre environments is a trip. <laughs> It's like the, the, the camera kind of doesn't fit anywhere in this environment, so it just kind of always has to be like looking through a wall or a ceiling. Cave machinery. I can make no oh. sense of it. Is this guy knocked out? Is that what that means? Isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Um. Very well. 
Are they all like this? Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. I don't think huh. they're doing well. I also think they did this. Yeah. Is that, is that pot of someone in it? Oh, it's thumping. Okay. Um. <laughs> the construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. Try that contraption next to the Oh, box. oops. They did something to it when they sealed me in. It's my first dialogue choice. I didn't realize my character didn't speak. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you gotta say so, it out loud. <laughs> yeah, I gotta play. say it out loud. All right. Well, I will look to uh, find the thing that will open this, I guess. Probably the, the weird thing. Dormant. Hmm. Hit it, because I'm a monk. Nothing. The console remains <laughs> dormant. <laughs> All right, let's look for a switch or a release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Ooh, then there's a little thingy. Buy an empty socket. In the background. Yeah, something ran by. That's not what it I expected. Over, it's right over here. It's right over here. It's not what I expected to hit it to be. <laughs> Intellect devourer. Oh no, the brain's no. running away. Yeah. We need to kill that. What if we accidentally trigger the story by running this way? Well, I don't know, man. Fine, I'll go back here and try to find something. <laughs> I'm worried that we're going to trigger the story by letting the thing go. Wow, the thing. Let's see. It is very hard to click on this thing. Okay. I don't like that's running around like a creepy baby. Oh no! What? Oh! This thing is right here. The creepy baby is running around right there. And also, these enemies are hostile. Oh god damn now. it! So, <laughs> so we're in combat, and the enemies are in combat. The baby's still not in combat. I, I can't. Yeah. I cannot interact with the baby. I can't reach it. Yeah, we don't move fast enough. Let's see, did you lose your turn? No, I ended my turn early because I'm not close enough to anything to attack, so I want to be ready. <laughs> Eat shit. Oh, my hiding failed. Okay, uh, in that case... Enough movement. I don't have enough movement. I'm gonna run towards no. you. No. Ah. What? I just keep wasting my turns by not doing just doing the wrong thing on accident. I tried to click gotcha. on my character to control my character to check if he had, had a spell that could change her movement because she's not gonna reach the guy that a thorn whipped to fight them. And instead, she just ran towards him. Where do I go? And that just here? pretty much uses up their turn. You can use the the pictures on the top, I think, to to swap. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting in the habit of double-clicking the left panel people. Mm -hmm. I don't think she has ranged attack. I assume ranged attack with her equipped weapon means uh, throw her sword? <laughs> Let's see. Maybe. Oh, she has a short bow. She's equipped. Oh, nice. Nothing important is ever easy. Well... Those cultists are sure are bummed. Eh. Oh. I've been noticed. Oh. Situational actions. You've unlocked an action as a result of another feature, uh, ability, or condition. It will be remain at the side of the hotbar until those conditions expire. Uh, what is that action? Nothing. Okay. Well, time to get this thingy. Okay. Well, I interacted with the little thingy and it didn't do anything, so. Um, let's see. Let's see. What did that do? Hmm. Nope. Ah! Brine bulb. There we go. I killed it. 
Ah, okay. Caustic brine. We could we could have dumped things at the top here. Huh. That's neat. Like burn the uh burn the, the stuff or? and like hurt her. Yeah. I think if we step in that it will hurt us, but that does uh, seem the case. Mysterious liquid doesn't seem to hurt us. Maybe now. Yep. She just has to try this thing. That's what we tried, yeah. That's what I tried. The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. There's an empty socket. Then you spy an empty socket. Okay, so we're looking for an I'm object. I'm thinking to maybe use. there's an item we need to f find to put in the empty socket. Elaborate reliquary is locked. I'm not good at lock picking. Faint images appear in your mind. I wanted to see if I could drag like an item or something to it, but it just made me drop something. Like you drop it off a cliff or something? No, I, I went to use it like because I picked up a bloodstone from the dead. Uh, thing, so I was thinking, okay, maybe this is how we interact with stuff, but I, I, it just said you dropped the bloodstone, so it's like, oh no. See, so did you, pre did you pushing these other panels cause the slaves to wake up? Not the, not whatever's over here, like the reliquary or the manuscript. It was I me mean, the, touching the, the one the terminal with the three buttons on it. Yes, I pushed the middle one. The console Ouch. Appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognized. No, I picked up the weird brain, so I thought I could put it in it or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah brain jar. Yeah, we got restoration here. Let's see. I mean, can we push a different one of these buttons, maybe? See what happens? It says already dead. Yeah. She just says go do that thing over there, basically. Oh, I picked up my bloodstone. Interesting. F5 is quick save. Can I just attack? The brain jar? That almost, walking through that caustic stuff almost knocked me out, so. Damn. Gonna have to be careful. Is there... Ooh, there's a sphincter over here. Oops. Did I almost press something? Alright, I'm gonna walk through this sphincter. Okay, Because there whip, is something... My whip is not getting through this thing. Yeah. Cerebral Aquarium. Okay, hold on. The Cerebral Aquarium. Find a way to release the captive. Oh, I see. Oh my god, it looks like it's full of, like, coral and stuff. What's up here then? We are nearing the helm. Oh. Once inside, do as I say. Okay, let's not go this way. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's definitely not go down that hallway. Mind flayer horticulture. Gotta be missing something around here. Well, I successfully used my, my whip on the elaborate reliquary to move it, <laughs> but I still can't open it. Alright, I'm just going to explore more of this. There's a dead thrall in here, a uh, Caligna's chest, another thingy. Here, we'll take this. Backpack What's on empty. the dead thrall? Anything good? Gold, a mug, Eldritch Rune. And oh, okay. Rescue the captives. Um, all right. Uh, leave. I don't know if I want to touch that. What if that rescues I don't her? Open up this thing. The Maybe. the pod I just touched. I thought I got something. Let's see. Place my As hand you on the place console. Your hand on the pod. You hear something. Mm. Presence connected to the pod. 
commanding the person inside to change. See, that was the opposite of what I wanted. Not prof not Dr. Chalk was. Mm. Uh oh. Yeah, and now she's gonna turn into a nightmare monster because I touched this thing that I didn't want to touch. I think I picked up a rune that let me maybe open something. Oh boy, that's uh -oh. a full-blown illithid. Oh no. All right, we're gonna run away from that. Maybe it won't come out. <laughs> oh, gold key, scimitar, Nito. Well, that was a bit of a trap. Part of the dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. When it happened, I, I, there was a journal pop up about rescuing the ca captive, so I thought it was about that. And now, we found an let's Eldritch go over here. rune. It may help us rescue the captive ha half elf. Yes, so that's the thing I found. The console appears dormant. Uh, insert the rune into the socket. Okay. The console hums to life, but what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? It just jibs her. She just she gets turned into <laughs> a blender. It blended. <laughs> yeah, like in Scarcana. All right, let's see. Let's roll good. Canth got a twelve. Very nice. Ooh. Okay, so we succeeded by one. <laughs> That's good. Pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. All right, let's place our hand on the console. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite, then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Assuming direct control. Uh, Illithid wisdom will the pod to open. Okay, difficulty class two, and I get a plus two, so no matter what, I succeed. And the, oh, right, because because nat ones aren't real. I mean, nat ones are real, but because I have a plus two, I'll always get a three. The biomechanical brain of the console process your command. runs across your mind. You feel sated. No, not oh, in the stuff. And she falls <laughs> right into the goo. No, not <laughs> in the stuff. Instantly takes damage.